Justin Locke here in the First Alert Storm Center, and we're, of course, tracking Tropical Storm Erica. I want to go through a couple images that we're watching. The first is satellite. What first jumps out at you is that this storm is not much to it right now. It's really losing its punch. It's going to have a tough time actually staying together here over the next 24 to 36 hours. But if it does maintain its circulation, its defined center of circulation, we could have a strengthening storm on our hands. This is what we call our water vapor imagery. This is uh, denoted the orange coloring, very dry air in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, and that's not good for a storm system as this dry air gets sucked into here, and that's why this storm is starting to fall apart. So that's what we're gonna be watching. We also call, you might hear us talk about wind shear a lot. That's just winds aloft that kind of disrupts the storm pattern, the cloud pattern of this system. So as we look at the track right now, the intensity forecast is for gradual strengthening. Each one of these icons is 24 hours, so 70, 72 hours out could make it close to hurricane strength here. And if it does that, things could be a little more favorable for development here in the Bahamas. Very warm water, uh, the wind shear lessens just a bit, so a lot is going to depend on if it can sustain itself really over the next 48 hours is what we're going to be watching. Then things, of course, get a little... Uh, you know, scary when you look at this far out, but you can't really take that. You got to take this with a grain of salt. Four and five days out here as we look at the cone of uncertainty, look at the discrepancy of models. Some of the models bring this toward Cuba, but the majority of them have it right through the Bahamas or north. But you're still looking at about a 500, uh, 500 mile difference with this. So uh, again, take it with a grain of salt. It's not a time to worry, but a time to certainly prepare. Make sure you and your family have your hurricane plans in place, as well as what you would do in case a hurricane would threaten. And this could be certainly affecting the southeast coast next week. If anything, the minimal impacts, probably some higher surf, uh, but worse impacts, of course, could be some sort of landfalling tropical system. So we're going to be closely monitoring this. You should too, and you can do that by following us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day.